Hey guys, Stephanie here. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you another smoothie recipe that I make on a regular basis. Uh, so this time it is without fruit. So it is very low carb. Uh, I guess you could call it keto friendly. It's got a good amount of protein, good amount of fat and low in carbohydrates, okay? And most important, it's extremely delicious. Okay, so let's get started. So first, instead of using frozen fruit, I fill my Vitamix with some ice, okay? Very easy, straightforward. Then I put in my protein powder. So I generally will use this one from Standard Process called Veggie Complete Pro, okay? This is the chocolate flavor. This is a pea protein. Uh, there's really not much else in it, okay? There's no sugar or anything like that. Uh, Protein-wise, it's not the, the highest in protein, but you know, you can add more if your protein needs are higher. The main thing is it blends really nice and smooth and tastes extremely good. And it's obviously vegan friendly. Next, for my base in general, I use coconut milk either unsweetened or unsweetened vanilla. This one is from So Delicious. Uh, I prefer coconut milk over almond milk, but you can use any type of liquid that you want. Now, the most important thing, uh, in addition to the protein powder, is an avocado, half of an avocado. Not only is this good for he healthy fat and keeping you full, but it gives the smoothie a really amazing creamy texture. And I find that to be very important uh, for taste. Okay, next I add some of my supplements to the mix just to make it easier. First and foremost, the ones that are grindable that can go in a blender easily, I throw them in all at once so then I only have to do that once a day and don't have to necessarily swallow all these pills. Okay, I don't do it with my herbs, I just do it with the vitamins that I can grind. So I add those in there. I add my powdered supplements. So I take maca powder. This is really awesome for adrenals, for energy, vitality, and then I also take uh, standard process calcium lactate powder, which also has magnesium in it as well. Then um, if I'm really in the mood for uh, some kind of chocolatey taste, more so than what the powder gives me, I can add in cacao nibs. I'm not gonna do that in today's recipe, but another thing you can add in is flavored stevia. So I like this one a lot. This is from Better Stevia. This one is called English Toffee. This it, it doesn't taste like stevia. It doesn't taste artificial or weird in any way. It gives anything you put on it a really nice taste. So I don't, you don't need a lot of this stuff. It's very powerful. So I literally put a few drops in here and it really enhances the taste significantly. You could use regular plain stevia if you wanted. They even have a dark chocolate flavored stevia and vanilla and all that. But I like the English toffee one for some reason. It tastes really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all this, save you the noise factor, come back and show you the finished product. All right. So here we go. The finished product blended in my Vitamix, which is an amazing blender. If you don't have a Vitamix, you should definitely check it out and get a Vitamix because it is good for not just smoothies, but lots of other amazing foods. I will link the recipe for this below, um, but the texture is really creamy and smooth. And of course the taste is awesome. I like to rotate between um, this chocolate smoothie recipe and my strawberry one and get a variety of different tastes. And um, you know, certain days I wanna have more carbs than others. So that's another reason why I switch it up. Now there's so many things that you can do with this. You can add, if you wanna make it like chocolate peanut butter, you can add some of that peanut butter powdered stuff that PB something, I can't remember. But anyway, that's a great way to add some peanut butter to it. You could add some sea salt to it. You can add raspberries to the chocolate. There's a gazillion different things you can do. Um, for more fiber, you can add some chia seed, some flax seed. But uh, the basics are pick your, your liquid, protein powder. If you want it to be low carb, then just use ice instead of fruit. You can throw in your supplements if you want. And most important, use the avocado. Um, so that's what gives it the nice texture. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and have my smoothie now. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. And let me know if you guys do smoothies and if so, um, what kind, what recipe, uh, what protein powder to use, I wanna know. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.